Hi, and in today's Microsoft Word tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a greeting card in Word. So the first things first is we need to sort out our page. So if we go up to layout and we go to size, we'll go down to A4 here, which is a perfect size. And then we'll make sure that the orientation here is landscape. Now the second thing we need to do is to find out where our halfway point is. So if we go back up to size, you can see that the width is 29.7, which divided into two is 14.8. So what we need to do is we need to draw a line for a guide down the middle of our page. Now the way to do that and to ensure that it doesn't interfere with our design is to double click into the headers and footers. You double click at the top of your page, you will automatically enter into the headers and footers. Now if you click insert, go to shapes, you go to lines and just click the line. Now anywhere on your page, if you just click, use your shift key and drag straight down, you'll get a, a perfectly vertical line. Now what we need to do now is to just ensure that this is where we want it to be. So if we right click, we go down to more layout options, then go down to the, to the right of and click page. And then in here we need to put 14.8. So 14.8 to the right of our page. And then absolute position would be to the page zero, okay. So now our line is perfectly in the middle and we just need to adjust its width a little bit. So if we double click on the shape or we go to shape format and go to format pane, we will get this customization menu. Now here you can see we've got a line menu. If we click on the drop down here and then we go to width, we can increase the width of that line. So it's just a little bit more obvious to us. Once you're happy, then just click into the middle of your document and they will come out of our headers and footers. And then if we add a page, insert page break, you can see that because we place that line in the headers and footers, then it will just add it to the next page as you would do if you had headers and footers. So we'll just get rid of that second page for now because we can come back to it and we'll begin to format the card. So this is the outside of the card. So this will be the front of our card and this will be the back of our card. So we need to find a suitable image for the front of our card. So I'm just going to hop onto the internet and I'm going to go to this website here called pixabay.com. Now I'm just going to input cute animals and press enter and for this of course you don't have to put animals in it you can put anything you want but this is a website that you can go on to and use these images for yourselves so I'm going to go down and select this image here and then I'm just going to click free download and then click download once I've done that go to word Go to insert, picture, picture from file, go to your downloads, there's my image, and select insert. Now, sometimes when you insert an image, you'll find you can't move it around. Simple solution, right click, go down to wrap text, and then you can click in front of text. Then we can just resize this. Now because this image isn't a suitable ratio, it's not a portrait, what I have done is I've identified an image that has a plain background so I can add a shape to the background that's exactly the same colour and it will fill this space. So I'm going to go up to insert, shape, rectangle and then just simply click and drag. Move that rectangle over just to the middle all shapes come with an outline, so I'm going to make sure I've selected my shape. Go over to the customization menu here, select no line, 
and then I'm just going to move this to one side so we can just see this colour shining through here. I'm going to go to Fill, Solid Fill, Colour, go down to More Colours, then you've got your colour wheel here. Now you can move this around anywhere you want if you want to select a particular colour, but because I want to match this colour, I'm going to use this eyedropper tool here. So I'm just going to click on it and move it over to where I can see this colour. You can see that the circle has changed to the colour of the original image. If I click on it, then this square here will change to that colour. And then just click OK. Now obviously this shape is overlapping the image and we want to send it to the back. So all we do is make sure it's selected, make sure you're on shape format, go to send backwards, click on the drop down and select send to back. And there you have your image on its background and of course you can move this up and down now because you've got the colour behind it. Now we can insert some text, go up to insert, text box, draw text box, click and drag. Don't worry too much about the size because we can alter it all. Now all text boxes have a white background and a black border which we need to get rid of. So make sure it's selected, go up to shape format, go to shape fill and select no fill, shape outline, select no outline. And then we can type our text, I'm just going to put happy. I'm going to put birthday in a different text box and I'll show you why. So we'll put happy. I'm going to change this to white. So go up to home, go to font color, select white. I'm going to increase the font size by using the increase font size tool. And then I'm going to change my font. And then I'm just going to copy and paste this. You can do it by Command or Control C, Command or Control V, or you can just hold down the Alt key and then click and drag. And it will duplicate that text box. So you can click away and click back on the text box because I had the two text boxes selected. Double click inside, Command or Control A to highlight your text or select all your text. Then I'm just going to type birthday. Can't see the text because I haven't made my text box big enough, so just stretch out the sides. And then if you select the two text boxes together by holding down the command or control key, you see they're not quite lined up. So if we go to align and select align to center. Once you're happy with their overall alignment, you can go up to group and select group. And then they'll move around as one group. Now you can of course ungroup them and make changes to them if you want to. So don't worry if you have to do that, it's fine. And then just click away and see how that looks. Just going to move this image down a little bit. Okay, now you don't have to put anything on the back if you don't want to, but if you do, go to insert and then you can go to an icon if you want. I'm going to put watermelon and then I'm just going to pretend this is my logo. And then again, if you can't move it, just select it, right click, wrap text in front of text. And then you can put this on the back of your card if it's your logo. And then again, you can insert a text box for the text. We'll just get rid of the background and the outline. And we'll put blue watermelon. Center that, just home, center text. And then we'll just eyeball where that should be in the page. Right, let's just center those up like we did before, highlight them both. Graphics format or shape format, doesn't matter, they've both got the align tool, align to center. There we go. And now let's add a page, so insert, page break. So that's come out in that way, so the, the new page is at the beginning, but it doesn't matter either way, it really doesn't matter which way you type it all. And then we can grab this text box here because it's already formatted to take away the background and the border. So again, we'll hit the Alt key, Alt or Option key, wait till your cursor changes, click and drag it over to this page here, and then just adjust your text. I'm just going to make this text box a little bit bigger. 
And obviously this section here is the inside of your card when you open it and see the greeting on the inside. And this is the left hand inside page. So let's say, and just increase the size of that text. Of course you can change the font as well. Select it all and just increase that font size. Perfect. Now if you wanted something more decorative on this page, you can copy the background if you want to here. And we've got that colour that matches. Once you've selected it, hit the Alter Option key again, drag it across and then pop it in there. Then we can add another icon if we want to as a bit of decoration. Let's put there. See what we come up with there. And then maybe use this icon here, just the silhouette. Click Insert. Now when you've inserted an icon, you can't see it, but you can see the outline. Don't worry, it's just gone behind the shape. So click in, right click inside. Okay, so now we've lost it. Don't worry, let's move the shape. Select the icon, right click, wrap text, in front of text. Move this back, and then you can see the icon here. Now you can change the colour or the size of this icon if you want to. We'll just stretch that one out and I'm just going to change this colour. So highlight it, select it, go to graphics format, go along to convert to shape. Once you've converted it to shape it will allow you to customise this design. So we need to change the colour so I'm going to select it. You can see if I click on it it makes an additional selection go to shape format, go to shape fill, and then I'm going to select the color wheel and the eyedropper tool. I'm going to select this background color. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make it darker by using this slider and just darkening the color and then click OK. Now you can see because this is two different shapes we're going to have to do it for this section here which is the leg. This often happens with the different icons. So select the leg, just go back up. Because the colour's already been selected in the shape fill icon here, just click on it and it will change the colour of the leg. Now if you're still not sure about the icon, just click on it, go over to format shape, go to the bucket tool here, click on solid fill, click on colour and in your recents will be that darker colour. And then just click on the transparency slider and then you can just reduce the transparency of that design if you want to. You can obviously go ahead and add further text if you want to, but this is just a really simple design. So once you've completed your design, you're happy with it, then you can just go ahead and print it out on a printer or some card. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please subscribe and have a great day.